Yeah, I got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Got this story about this mayor down in Alabama. He's a good old boy. Bet, I bet you he's a Republican. Bet you he's a good man. I don't even know, I don't even know who, who we talking about, but I know if he's in Alabama, politician, you said he's a governor? He's a, I ain't say nothing about no governor. I said mayor. Oh, sorry. He's also a preacher. Oh, he's, he's got to be a good man. I don't even need, I already know. Christian? He killed himself. Killed himself? Yeah. Man, he wasn't supposed to do that if he's Christian. I think you go to hell forever for that. <laughs> Give me the article. He must not be. Well, a watch, good watch, 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 wait till you. I'm going to show you why he killed himself. Alabama preacher F.L. Bubba Copeland. He's oh, he's one of them Copelands. He's a preacher. Copeland kills himself after being outed as transgender curvy girl. What? An Alabama preacher and politician killed himself Friday, two days after being outed for having a secret life. He shared online as a transgender curvy girl. F.L. Bubba. Doing? What is he doing? Webcams? F.L. Bubba Copeland, who was the mayor of Tiny Smith Station with a population of 6,756, as well as the pastor at a First Baptist church in nearby Phoenix City, shot himself around 5 p.m. in front of the sheriffs who were following him. Wow, he's doing the O.J. thing, huh? Yeah, Copeland was married, father of three. His suicide came after police were asked to do a welfare check and began tailing his car. He exited the vehicle, produced a handgun, and took his own life, the sheriff office said. Copeland's suicide followed an expose in 1819 News, a news site once owned by the conservative think tank, the Alabama Policy Institute, that described Copeland's secret life online as a transgender woman under the pseudonym Brittany Blair Summerlin. Pseudonym, pseudonym. Pseudonym. Yeah, that's how you say it like a Negro, a pseudonym. <laughs> pseudonym. <laughs> the hell's a pseudonym? Pseudonym. Pseudonym. There you go. Okay. Like a white person. All right. Nice, clean, and polished. <laughs> All right, look at yeah, pull it, pull it back up. Let me read it. Read that one thing over, man. All right. Show everybody you educated. <laughs> read pseudonym. Um, okay. Online as a transgender woman under the pseudonym Brittany Blair. Pseudonym, Sa man. That's what I Why said. Are you saying pseudonym. <laughs> <laughs> a transgender woman under the pseudonym Brittany Blair. There Something. You go. Brittany described herself as a transitioning, transitioning transgender curvy girl that loves smiling clothes and shoes. That sounds like all women. That's hey, him right he there. He looks gay. I take one look at him. And say, yep, that dude's a homosexual. <laughs> Why do you say that? Look at him. You can tell he's gay. You know, uh, gay people have this glow about him like they're pregnant. He look like he's about in his third trap. <laughs> Kevin, let me keep reading. Man, that's, that's, that's this damn shame he took. One oh, yeah, I know. It's horrible. One of his social media uh, profiles showed Copeland wearing different women's outfits, including bedroom photos of himself in women's underwear. 1819 News also reported that Copeland could be seen wearing some of his wife's clothes in his post. Yeah, he's married, got three kids. Yeah. Man, what a shame, man. Yeah. Copeland. Oh, that, that conservative think tank came across. How did they find it? Yeah, you know, uh, conservatives can't stand no transgenders. But how did that transgender think tank come across him online? Put two and two together. Rumors. No, man. Some conservatives over there looking at transgenders, trying to squeeze one off. Said, man, that looks like the damn mayor of our city. <laughs> That's what happened. Let me keep reading. I'm going to tell you Remember what happened. They threw out that um, one porn star out of uh, um, Training Point USA? Yeah, porn star. Yeah, they threw her out. Yeah, why did he do that, man? Because they, uh, they That was, was wrong. They said it was a bad look for them. No, it's freedom of speech. You either, you either believe in freedom or you don't. Yeah. Let me keep reading, Kevin. And my question is, Copeland referred to Kevin back on me when they threw out how did those conservatives know she was a porn star? They watch porn. They watch porn. So why didn't you kick out the porn star along with the people who watch her? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me read the article. I believe in freedom. I do too. I stand for freedom. And that's a horrible thing what happened to him. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. If he was a Democrat, he could have came out. Yeah. Copeland referred to himself as a thick transgender woman and encouraged other trans, trans women to go on hormone replacement therapy. Oh, that's that's the... Um, women, grown folks? Yeah. He you also. about no kids, right? No, I ain't saying about no kids. He also posted transgender porn as well as transgender fiction and erotica that he apparently wrote. Of course. 
This dude doing, he posted transgender porn. Let me say it again. I mean, this dude living a double life. <laughs> this dude is posting transgender porn. What else? Let me bring back up. Trans, this dude's posting transgender porn as well as transgender fiction and erotica. Oh, stories about transgenders, right? No, romance novels <laughs> about transgenders? Right? And um, they writing comics about transgenders. Yeah. All right, keep going. Man. Um, not bad. You're not bad. I dated women like that. <laughs> got some nice hips got, on. Man, he's got hips like a woman, too. Man, them feet is a dead giveaway. Look at them big old fat feet he got. Yeah, them some big ass feet. <laughs> if I'm dating a big girl and I look down, man, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what size shoe you wear, bitch? <laughs> A red flag for me because that looks like just a fat chick right there, yeah. It does, yeah. But that foot, that foot, that look like a size 12 right there, a size 12 wide, yeah. That shit belong on the Negroes. <laughs> <laughs> Copeland told 1819 News, which published the report on his 62nd birthday, that his oh, uncle, man, he was 62, yeah, he looks good, yeah, he looks good. Hope I look that good when I'm 62, yeah. That his uh, let me keep reading. That his online alter ego was a homeless hobby that did not go beyond his home. Just my wife knows about it, Copeland said. It's a hobby that I do to relieve stress. I have a lot of stress, and I'm not medically transitioning. It's just a bit of a character I'm playing. I don't go out and seek solicitation or anything like that. Oh, man. Man. What I do in private life has nothing to do with what I do in my holy life. <laughs> I think God disagrees. <laughs> Copeland told 1819 reporter... Craig Munger, does this have any effect on me being mayor? That I sometimes put on a dress or sometimes put on makeup? For a blue area? No. For a red area? You're yeah. done. <laughs> does that have anything to do with whatsoever with me being mayor or being a pastor? Oh, that's his campaign right there, huh? I guess it was his campaign. Like, oh, that's, that's a good campaign. Got Ralph Lauren on? FL Bubba. <laughs> Copeland Smith Station Mayor. <laughs> Dude's name Bubba, dressing up like a woman. He appeared to take his outing in stride after the expose was published Wednesday. That night, he delivered his regular sermon at the First Baptist Church of Phoenix City and briefly addressed the scandal. I've been an object of an internet attack, Copeland said, an article that was written about my capacity as the mayor and capacity as a pastor. The article's not who or what I am. He downplayed the online material calling it an attempt of humor. Hmm. You know what happened? You know what? I don't think O'Day is gay. meeting Trump. I don't think he was gay. I think it was just a hobby of his, just screwing around. And those pictures got out, and they was going to ruin his name. And no, he, man. He didn't see a way out. It was more than that, Kevin. It was, it was more than a hobby. No, until it I see It was a him. lifestyle nah. behind closed doors nah, you with, with the wife. He was writing stories. He was, he was, he was deep into the trans stuff. You sure about that? Man, that dude was probably dressed up like a woman, and his wife was probably pegging him. <laughs> Yeah, just speculation on bleed. Probably his wife probably got well. I, don't know. I ain't gonna bring his wife into it. It's sad, man. It's sad. Why did that? Um, he didn't have a way out, man. So he's just sad, man. Well, he didn't have it to kill you... himself. It was embarrassing for him, I'm sure. Yeah, he didn't see a way out. Think about it. If you have pictures of you coming out mm -hmm. dressing up like a woman. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm eating a gun. And I'm gonna choose the shotgun because it's gonna be a closed casket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want nobody ever see me again. <laughs> Put your both barrels right here. Uh, Boom! <laughs> but I know we make a lot of situations, but man, that's sad, man. Had to take his own life. Though. Yeah, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. You know? Yeah, I know. It's horrible. Yeah, you look like a nice guy too, man. Them damn conservatives. He's, pro he's probably gay, man. I mean, you didn't have to write up. Did you? Well, man, look. There's I no such thing as the perfect Christian. Well, he's far from perfect. <laughs> Who's perfect, though, Kevin? I mean, nobody's perfect, but you would think <laughs> the average Christian ain't going to be, uh, you know. A damn male and fuck. a damn pastor. I went to a Baptist church growing up. That's, that's Holby had to take his own life, and he did it right there in front of the cops. I'm going to pay tribute to this video to you. What? Paying tribute to you. He's a Republican. I don't know if he's a Republican, Kevin. Oh, uh, Trump went to go say him. He's a Republican. Yeah, he's a he's a Republican. Yeah, yeah, he gets um, it'll blew over. Look at Marv Abbott. What's his name? The guy that was a, uh, the commentator. Who's Marv, Marv Abbott? He was biting bitches. No, that was Brent Musburger, wasn't it? 
keep bringing up Brent Musburger. <laughs> Is, who is? Oh, it's Marv Albert. Marv Albert. Yeah, see, he came out. He was wearing lingerie and stuff. Yeah. Famous sports now. Then they banned him for a while or something like that, but he brought well, him back. you know, that's that's back in the 80s. We talking 2023 now. We talking, we talking post-COVID. The world has changed. Man, it's just sad he had to kill himself. Yeah, I know. Man. Look all the fun you're missing. You could have dressed up. family, too, man. Got three kids. I guess he couldn't face his kids. Bet his kids came home and looked at him like this. Probably had his phone. He's like, "Yeah, it's gotta been tough, man. It's gotta be tough, man." I'm you know what? I think he's in heaven. He, he's got to be in heaven. He's I in mean, heaven. He, he shouldn't be in hell. You know who they send to hell, right? Trans. <laughs> I don't think they go to hell. That's what it said in the Bible, though. That's what God said, man. This show's over. <laughs> hey, we got a new giveaway going. We'll give away a Ford Bronco and thirty, and it's got thirty thousand dollars in upgrades to the show truck in Vegas. And, and if you win the truck, you get ten thousand in cold hard white American cash with it. To enter the win, go to officialhogstwins.com. Anything you buy at the site gets you automatically entered the win. Yeah.